Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Project... Well, not Project, but Satellite Rain. Last time we've just uh, rescued our infiltrator over here. And now we have a few more things to do, like set up the um, beacons and get a researcher from the market over here. So we're gonna do that first, we're gonna go to the market and uh, get the researcher. And see what he tells us. Oh, just a moment. Sorry about that. So, let's use the world scan ability. Actually, wait a second. There we go, target was already found. Where is he? Target was found where? Oh, there he is. A lucky few are born smart, and even fewer find ways to leverage that into a position that lets them show that off. Corporate... well, let me just stop him. Corporate lackey is a good gig if you can get it. If your conscience helps you sleep at night knowing what your tech might do, you get to do kick-ass science experiments all day. So we're gonna bribe him for, what was it, a thousand or was it a hundred? I don't know. And that's that! He'll get a research and development team running smoothly, and he's just the start. There should be lots of other eggheads and geeks around the city with all sorts of specialties. Let's work on recruiting whenever we can and get them in on our side. Now there's a downside to this, is um, you can't identify scientists unless you have the world scan ability on. And of course, unless you want to see the world like this all the time. It is cool, of course, but I'd rather see it like this, as it is. So yeah, that's kind of a bad side to it. Let's go and get that uh, relay beacon up here. Let's search the area for the Civ to clone. Alright, so like the civilian. Wait, you can go and do that in the meantime. Let's like the civilian. Purchase the extra info. Profit margins are narrow in the city if you're not a big shot CEO. You're not working hard for your next score and just trying to keep your business afloat. Oh yeah, you are working hard. So there we go. There's the bonuses. Alright, this looks like a good candidate. Let's hijack them and send them back for cloning. Now, of course, just like everything else illegal, you can't be seen by drones, for example, and such. And police. So I'd rather not do it while they're around. Also, cameras don't quite like, you know, you doing that. I mean, the corporations don't really care that much for the people, but uh, they don't want some shadowy organizations hijacking people, so let's see. Hopefully he's not gonna see me here. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he will. Great. Shite. Oh, it still sees me over there. How about you run for now? And we'll hide you somewhere over here. Alright, this looks like a good candidate. Yes, we already know that. Let's hide her over there for now. She'll be fine. Now, we're gonna send this guy back for cloning. There we go. Mimness returned for cloning. Quite a, you know, grim thing. But that's what we have to do. And now, of course, we can set the clone up. Clone. There we go. This screen lets you change each agent's clone and customize their appearance. Clones come with a small vari uh, varying bonuses for your agent, but be warned. The cloning process is not perfect, and each time your clone so uh, you clone someone, their bonuses will degrade. So, I can apply the currently selected clone. She looks cool. Let's do that. So there we go. She's a soldier, and she will immediately get cloned. There we go. Authorities contacted. Alright, let's get a few more clones, maybe. Actually, I love the sound effects. They're really sort of, you know, strange. Uh-oh. That guy saw that going on. Great. How about we hide again? <laughs> right, so how's the... How's this one? Eh, fine, just clone her for now. I mean, she's gonna give us bonuses, so that's alright. I just want to get rid of... Let's see, I don't like this face. Of course I can, you know, just change it. Oh no, I can't. Uh, well, let's put a different clone onto this one. Warning, sword stats are immediately degraded. We only have this one. Stat bonus is none. Hmm. 
Well, there we go. Plus, plus, plus. That's fine. Apply. None source. All right. So we have a main color. I like my um, hackers to be orange. We can do it like this, maybe. There we go. Apply. Alrighty. The clone has been applied. Alright, now let's get more uh, of those beacons up and running. Oh yeah, wait a second. Support will be white. Um, ugh, zero. I'm not going to do that in a moment. Because it's actually going to degrade the stats. So let's see, where are we going? Well, we've got quite a few relay beacons down there. Uh, let's start over here for now. There's a beacon over there. The hell is this? <laughs> the scratching post. Alright, I know this place. Remember this beacon in this place. We'll be uh, over here quite a few times. Because it's quite a nice, cozy, little safe place. And these doors. Oh, yes. Many memories. <laughs> Alright, let's set the beacon up. And we can proceed. Now, the infiltrator is a very cool uh, class. I really like that one. No dossier available. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, extra missions now. But first, we're going to set the beacons up. Well, actually, why not? We can already do other stuff as well. It's time to send a message to the Eternals. Among other pies, they've got their fingers in the CSA, the City Surveillance Authority. These are the ones who are always watching over you. Right, and what's the last? And that's the last thing we want. They have individual district compounds that oversee and monitor the data flow in each part of the city. And if we get inside this one, we'll be able to tamper with their facial recognition software, making our lives easier. Where is that? It's over there. Okay, so that's that one. Alright, we're not gonna do that just yet. Uh, where's the bank? The bank is up there, I believe, right? Yes, that's quite doable. It's time to talk cash. We can set up a long-term solution. Use our hacker to hack siphon filters into ATMs around the city, soaking up smaller transactions here and there, hiding our theft as a rounding error. But if you were thinking about a larger payday, we pay the bank a visit. Every district's got a major corp financial institution, the legit, supposedly secure, economic hub of each district in the city. This is the linchpin each district revolves around. If you're short on scratch and high on motivation, this is the place to hit. Sending our hacker in will allow our ATM siphons to be doubly aggressive, increasing the rate of money trickling in. We can also go loud, send the soldier in to blast the vault, swagger in and grab all we can just like an, in an action flick. Alright. Uh, what about this? Ronin Inc. Incorporated, a subsidiary of Uzi Corp. You know, the Ruskies that control the industrial district. Anyway, they've got a stranglehold on the city's droid market and have the big Ronin compounds in every district. This one's a basic storage compound filled with parts, completed droids, droids that need repairs, that sort of thing. But the city's maintenance droids also use this place as a repair and refuel station. These little guys are everywhere and have access to almost every part of the city. Get your agents into the main facility. We should be able to use this to our advantage. Not really sure how, but I think it's over here, right? No? Ah, it's over here, okay. Now, the, the reason I'm putting these pings down is, yes, I know there are a, f a lot of them, but, you know, if I'm here and I see a ping here, I say, okay, yeah, let's do this as well. Draco Dracogenesis is everywhere. They trust the day-to-day -day dealings to the wyverns, but they always have a guard uh, station no matter who runs the district, as part of their citywide security concern. Their district hub is always a major communications relay, so they have a bunch of Dracos hanging around as fast response security, and they know where to send them by monitoring district-wide communications and alerts. If we breach this facility, we can delay and disrupt communications throughout the whole district, slowing down reinforcement calls and response times. Let's make sure we get our infiltrator in here to snoop around and see what we can find. Now, what this will do will be um, reinforcements call uh, will be longer by 50%. And that is here, so we can also do that. Alright, let's go down here first, so we can get that relay beacon up. Run, everyone! Run! Alright. Hello, lady. 
Alright, so we're gonna get this uh, relay uh, beacon first. It's where? Where is it? Eh? Oh, it's here. There we go. There's a relay beacon. We have to get that up and running. And then we will proceed to the, uh, that area. Alright, there's another person here we can hijack. Come on. Weird sounds. <clears throat> and another new mission, apparently. So what's the stats on this one? Yeah, that's alright. Increase health by 20%. Let's go. Return for cloning. And of course the hijack is on a cooldown. Now we're gonna go over here. Now the very cool thing... Oh, now that we have a few beacons up and running, we can use them to fast travel around the map. Select a beacon and fast travel your agents to it from anywhere in the city. Now, as far as I understand it... Oh yeah, wait. I have to do this, otherwise the tutorial will keep bug bugging me. I thought there was a way to turn off the tutorials. Options... Mm, no. There is not. Well, maybe there is, but I haven't seen it. Oh, let's just do it so, you know, it's not gonna be angry at us. Now, the weird thing is, you're not actually fast traveling, you're making new clones at a, you know, different position. So, as you can see, really begins a place around the city to enable the transfers of an agent's consciousness into a new clone body. Relay beacons can also be used as fast travel system around the city. Oh! I take it back. Wait, I are already a destination. Oh, yeah. Yes, like the beacon. Alright, so I have to go away from there because they're already a destination. And now, fast travel all. And now they're there. Your agents can fast travel, blah blah blah. Okay, so I take it back. It is actually fast traveling. It's all only, um, you know, transferring consciousness if your agents get killed on the battlefield. Okay. That makes it less creepy then. A little less creepy, right. Now we have a few entrance points to this place. Now because the door is here, this is the shortest route to get there. So I definitely want to go here. However, damn it, it requires a hack level 2. And I do not have level 2 hacking. Now my uh, now XP of the Infiltrator... Uh, loadout. What's the XP? Skills. There, we're about halfway to level... Uh, there we go, yeah, Soldier is almost leveled because, you know, she's been with us the longest. But that's the problem. Now what we can do is wait for, a, you know, one of the guards to pass the gates and open the doors for us. But... That's gonna take too much time, so we'll have to take a different route in here. Now let's hack this. Ah, we got a skill point. The Rise and Rise of Dangler. Few would have thought any corporation would flourish after the latest debilitating global financial crisis, but in the ashes of the defunct powerhouses, Dracogenics successfully established themselves as a world leader, leader in genetic programs, which quickly spread to advanced augmentation development. Now cemented as a key player in the upper echelons of global corporations, Dracogenics have committed to pushing the boundaries once again. Recent acquisitions in both the banking and trade sectors have diversified their Dracogenics brand. Uh, uh, brand and provided much needed stimulus to both local and global economies and if whispers of groundbreaking restec functionality is correct global domination seems inevitable will you be grocery shopping at a dracogenics branded store in the future based on the speed of the latest acquisitions that could prove to be a legitimate possibility so there we go that was sort of you know like news let's see the loadout purchase a skill level all right so each agent has a unique set of skills blah 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 uh, I want the hard hardwiring first for the soldier. Now, you would think you want harden and explosive specialist and rage and weapon specialist and so on, but no. I want the hardwiring because it's actually a very nice skill to have. Unfortunately, this requires level 2 hardwiring. And the soldier does have a 44% chance of doing it, but for the moment, we're just gonna, you know, stay with this. Are these guys gonna go through here? Because if so, I can actually use to sneak past. I think they will, yeah. This is sort of a 
cheap way of doing it. Because I'm not actually, you know, hacking or anything. But... Go, go, go. Crap. Go, 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 go. Alright, now that. Go, go, go. Alright, so there we go. Now we're in here. And now we're gonna send our infiltrator to the Ronin parts thingy. Now all we have to do is send him in and wait for him to come out. Now the problem is, you do not control when he comes out. So he could come out when the camera is looking, when there are soldiers about, and so on and so forth. Good news! We got a hold of a FRED processor, Fast Response Emergency Drop. Heard of it? If we can get it up and running, our tech heads in the lab can repurpose city drones and use them to drop, of our, uh, drop off one F missing, our agents anywhere we want in the city, even in the middle of a firefight. New flash-grown clones ugh, dropped off right where we need them. It'd be great. I'll call around the middlemen and scrap sellers I know and see if our tech heads can get a portable drop accuracy transponder up and running. The other thing we really need to get the threads uh, flying is an existing triangulation system. We're going to have to piggyback off the city's drone communication channels to get the system operational. This will make sure our hijacked city maintenance drones fire off the drop pod to the right place. It'll take some work, but it could be really worth it in the long run. Alright, so let's get uh, ready over here to get back. Come on, everyone. I'm gonna wait for that camera. And then we're gonna go... Ah, darn it, this door will not open. I'll have to hardwire it. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, the... Yeah, it's gonna see me there. Shit. Crap. It's not good. I thought, yeah, hardwiring that would uh, be a little bit problematic. Oh, that was a bit buggy. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna hide over here because they're gonna get reinforcements out. Is there another way we could get out? We can disable this, but we have to get through all of this just to get out. It is possible, and we'll have to do it if we can't hardwire this. Although I could just leave my soldier here, get spotted by the camera. You know, and have everyone get out. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be easier. Now, we already have some uh, skill points. Some extra skill points for the support. Uh, right. There's another soldier there. He's gonna come over there immediately. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. What is your hijack level, actually? I can't... Oh, cannot hijack. Okay. I need level 2 hijack. Right, now... Actually, you're gonna get seen there, I think. Alright. Now. Let's do this. Go, go, go. Now he's rewiring that. Get ready, team. We're gonna get out of here. Alright. I like it. <laughs> Actually, let's get up here. Oh, no, no, there's... there's some... There's some soldiers up there. That will, uh, of course, immediately recognize us, because they're all linked with implants and everything. So, now we're just gonna wait for this to, uh... For the alert levels to drop. Only the soldier is really in trouble here. Those guys are actually going over here, apparently. That's fine. We're gonna lose that alert level, and boom, there we go. Ought to say successful, because we're out of trouble and out of the restricted area. Now let's check out the skills. I can improve the world scan, or I can do the field, field medic, which will, you know... Uh, gives the entire team bonuses in both health and health genera regeneration. The skill also enhances the effectiveness of the Medicaid heal ability for the support agent and gives an extra health regeneration ability to the support agent. But what I really like at the moment is leadership because it's a passive ability. Increases cooldown speed by 4% for all agents and re uh, energy regen and increases max energy. So I'm going to do that for now. And the support will, of course, take hacking level 2 for now, because that's very good. Of course, hijacking is very nice as well. But, you know, for now it's gonna be that. Now, the infiltrator will get a very useful ability later on. Let's tra fast travel over here. 
and uh, go and break into this place right here we need to get over here damn that's far away is there any other places where we can uh, go Ooh, there's a wait a second really oh man I can go in there look at that however new message ammo all weapons except pistols require ammo. Some abilities require ammo, represented by orange dots. Standard, uh, stand in your ammo boxes or relay beacons to replenish your agent's ammo. But wait a second. If I do use the zipline, okay, I can get into there a little easier than normal, but then I still have to get out. Because I can't go back up the zipline. Ah, I can use this vent to get out here. Excellent. Very nice. So you can see a little bit of uh, planning in advance really pays off. Alright, I want to hijack some more people. Oh, my clones. Man, that's a really creepy thing. Alright, the infiltrator is going to go for it. Because She's actually not trained in using the zipline either at the moment. So this is quite a risk I'm taking. And in fact, okay, this is not, um, this is not under uh, electrical power, so it's not going to just zap me. Let's hide for the moment. Let's see this clone. Uh, not a very good clone, but you know what? Let's take it for now. All right, anyway, we are going to continue next time when we break into this facility. And it's going to be quite interesting, as you can see quite a few cameras and patrols. I will see you then. Bye-bye.